Starvation is uh, not an experience I care to experience. Hunger by Newt Hampson is a book I received from my Uncle Moses many years ago, many Christmases ago. My Uncle Moses, who once marched in the civil rights marches of the 1960s and who uh, fought in the Vietnam War and who uh, was a drinking drifter hitchhiker in his early adulthood decided one Christmas to buy me and all my siblings this book and he was really excited about us reading it. Uh, this was like five years ago or so and uh, we were all like wow that looks like an interesting book and a terrifying book to read but thank you Uncle Moses um, and you know, back then I wasn't really into reading deep, dark, scary books, um, but uh, alas, now I am. Yeah, uh, Hunger was uh, quite the, uh, you know, uh, shocking novel. Um, the way I would describe it is it's basically a book uh, illustrating desperation and desperation out of hunger and that desperation coming from several different forms of hunger. Basically, the story centers around a young man. Uh, he's not given a name in the book, but uh, he is a young man uh, who is in Norway, in New Christiana, Norway, otherwise now known as Oslo, Norway. And he is a struggling writer in the, uh, the late 1800s. And uh, he's just trying to get pieces published in newspapers, write plays. And meanwhile, he's also trying to survive on the streets of Oslo. Um, it's a crazy book because this young man, uh, he's constantly hungry, constantly getting thrown out of places that he had been living at. He's constantly on the streets. He's constantly just kind of losing his mind. But what's so interesting is that he knows that he is why he's on the streets going hungry. He constantly gets in his own way throughout the whole course of this novel. He, his his self-interested and, and, and self-loving yet self-hating pride, uh, it keeps him from asking people for food or asking people for money. Uh, he, he, he refuses to be a beggar for most of the book. Of course, he ends up begging at some points during the book, but always whenever he's on his last, you know, measure of energy. And I don't know, uh, I will say, if, if you read Hunger, don't read the intro, at least if you get this edition, don't read the introduction uh, until after you read the book, because I started reading the introduction and it was like beginning to spoil the book and I was like, oh gosh. Um, but it is a great introduction to read, so I would say read both the introduction and the afterword after the book is finished. So yeah, Hunger is basically a book about hunger not only physically, but psychologically and spiritually. Because truth be told, one of the things I learned from the introduction and afterward, uh, you know, uh, that basically analyzed uh, the, the, the main part of this book, uh, what Paul Astor and Robert Bly uh, basically said about Newt Hampson's uh, novel is that Hunger in it was basically the main character was willfully being hungry at times because in a quasi way he was trying to find out what was wrong with him and the only way that he could really get through the things that were holding him back in life was with was if he almost lost his life and so it's like Hunger is almost like a forced fast that the main character hates but unconsciously realizes is necessary for him to find out what he needs to do with his life, his soul, and his body. I think this novel illustrates what desperate thinking is really like uh, in a way that I've never experienced uh, from any other novel. Uh, like, I don't know if you've ever found yourself desperately wanting something or even if even if you're hungry I don't know if you've ever found yourself like 
in that situation, but whenever I've been like super desperate for something, my thinking goes bananas. Like I start coming up like a while back, I met this girl I was like super interested in and everything. It didn't end up working out. But after I first met her, my thinking became so irrational. I was like, well, I think that date went amazing. But what if it didn't? No, it definitely did not go well. But yes, it did go well. She's in love with me. And then I was literally, I was bouncing. Like my thoughts were just bouncing on every side of every room that I was into, just bouncing back and forth and all over the place. And crazy ideas were coming into my head. And I was conscious of this. Um, but the only reason that any of this uh, like was really uh, impacting me is because I had a hunger for a romantic relationship at that time. I like severe, desperate hunger. And it was affecting my thinking. And likewise, in uh, uh, the Hunger of the Novel, uh, the main character has a desperate hunger for food. And honestly, like, even it would, like, whenever I've, like, not eaten much, <laughs> um, yeah, my thinking becomes pretty sporadic and kind of, uh, uh, you know, crazy as well. It's like the, the book got what desperation uh, and desperate thinking is really like. Because uh, even uh, the main character in the novel, he also is desperate for a romantic relationship in the book at a certain point. And his mind goes completely nuts on it. On one hand, he's like, oh, this woman is totally in love with me. Uh, I'll definitely see her. Maybe we'll even get married someday. <laughs> and then in the next sentence, he's like, oh gosh, no, she's a horrible whore and blah, blah. <laughs> it's just like, he is all over the place. And uh, yeah, the novel, it just really encapsulates uh, what that is like. And I have not seen that in other books. Psychologically, this book was so accurate to what it's like to be uh, desperate and prone to mood swings. Before we wrap up this review, I would like to read one passage uh, from the book that I think illustrates uh, just how good Hampson's writing is, and also illustrates, you know, what you're going to be getting into if you decide to uh, read Hunger. So here we go. Now I was walking around starving so that my intestines were curling up inside me like snakes. And moreover, there was no guarantee that food would come to me by the day's end either. And as time went on, I was becoming spiritually and physically more and more hollowed out. I let myself sink to less and less honorable deeds every day. I told blank lies without a blush, cheated poor people out of their rent, and fought against the grossest impulses to make off with someone else's blanket, all without remorse, without bad conscience. Rotten patches were beginning to appear in my insides, black spongy areas that were spreading. And up in heaven God was sitting, keeping an eye open on me, and taking care that my defeat proceed after the correct rules of, of the art, evenly and slowly, with no break in rhythm. But in the pit of hell the evil devils roamed around bursting with rage because it was taking me so long to commit a mortal sin, an unforgivable sin, one for which God and his righteousness would have to throw me down." That is uh, just one taste of uh, the, the seriousness and the, uh, the, the craziness of this novel. So as for grading hunger, um, I don't know, it, it's like... <sighs> It's definitely in like the top category of uh, you know of novels that I've read recently, uh, primarily because it had, it made it forced me to think thoughts that I had not thought before about things like hunger and desperation, like and and and, and just about myself. And so, it's it's definitely a worthwhile read. It's not uh, you don't have to read hunger. Like if you don't read hunger, it's not going to be like oh dude you just missed out, bro. You know it's. If you don't read it, you know, you're not going to be, like, robbed of uh, some important thing in your life. Uh, but I do think it is definitely worth reading if you have the time and if you are interested. So, ladies and gentlemen, those are my thoughts on Hunger by Newt Hampson. Now I want to know if you read Hunger, what did you think about it? Leave any questions or comments you may have in the comments section below. And as always, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. And never forget to...